back in Laura Vale's apartment, I had a good look around here off camera and I noticed something a little bit suspicious up here with this painting. Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, hopefully, we'll find our access card in here. Can we just go that way? I think so. These are all just twos. Anomaly oh, come on, man. Trace program initiated. Should be fine. Should be fine. Should still be fine. Access granted. Done. Then we got some credits. Okay, not bad. Unlock the safe. What do we have? Aha! Pika's vault keycard. A keycard used to access the Pika's vault within the Palisade Property Bank. Guess where we are going? Yes, indeed. Ah, come on. No, no, no. Not this. Off. Right. Uh, from encrypted. Uh, okay, probably some kind of data for the the Pika's vault server. I don't, don't know. Don't know. Don't know what that is. Right, our work here is done. Let's get out of here. Right, we've explored all the storage lockers. We've uh, robbed all the apartments. We are good to go. All right, let's just get get out the courtyard. Get our map. Get our map up here. Alright, so what do we have left to see? Well... Head around here. Let's check out the workshop, mate. Get to this plaza. And then, well, we could drop in a TF-29 and go to work. Or, we could go to the bank. And have a look at what we get in, um... Versa Life's vault. This is just an ad, isn't it? This isn't actually Versa Life headquarters. Why is he surprised to see one of us around here in the daylight? There's plenty of Ogs all walking around. I never eat in outdoor restaurants anymore. Too many other people nearby. Yeah, because when you eat inside, there's there's no one in there. Why you all insist on making this an issue? I will never know. <laughs> yes, I'm the one making augmentation an issue in this game. That's right. Oh, nothing to do with the developer's intentions. That's yes, that's correct. It's my fault. It's my fault. Augmentation's an issue in this game. Until the rubble at Ruzika Station is cleared, metro service outside the core is impossible. So we can't leave this area then until a certain amount of time has passed by the sounds of it. Later. Man, it's so weird. The sound is so weird. Sometimes it sounds like someone is standing right beside you talking in your ear. There's no one here. Do not kill me. I have a family. Yes. It's clear. Have you seen anything else? Keep it down. Do not kill me. I have a family, and then she proceeds to call us bastard. Kind of afterwards. Stay away, Hanser. Okay. Get away from me. My wife is going to kill me. Right. You are still deciding. Come back later. Have we been in here? We robbed this guy already. Come in, come in. No, we have not. From Manny Letter to Pavel Davidov. Bad plan. Quadruple exclamation marks. Ugh, I feel all dirty inside. This isn't worth it, cousin. The Zelen woman must be crazy. Pushing two golem shipments in one week is stupid when once every two weeks is already risky. 
I know your family and all that, and the extra crash is great, but I'm not sure I want in on this anymore. My ma would dig your own grave if she knew what you'd got me into. You might need to find another driver. Sorry. So this is the Zelen woman. That's our apartment building, isn't it? Was there someone there who's trying to get Ogs out of the country? I think so. Prague points of interest. Neighbourhood watch. What's this? Sometimes just rumours, sometimes warning or calls for helps or secrets sold by a man with a fake name. No matter how I found out about some of these locations, they're all worth a closer look. The message I found in the basement sounded like a smuggling ring. Mention the Zelen woman if I want to investigate. I should probably pay closer attention to my neighbours. We have to, do we have to get back? Get back to our apartment building then. Scroll is so fucking stupid, man. We have to get back to our apartment building. Does it get marked on a map? Yes, it does. It does get marked on a map. Look at that. Okay. Well, we can go back there. We'll do all our business in here first. Now... Ooh, how close are we to that red thing? Not very close. Anomaly detected. Better just grab these. Trace program initiated. We'll just do this, yeah. Access granted. Okay. Right, let's loot. Not seeing any. Not Weapons yet. briefcase. Okay. Whoops! Excuse me! Pardon me! Pardon me! Right, where are we going? There's a two. We have to go this way, so we have to take this. We have to take these. This is not going to be... This is not going to work out well for us. I'm not sure... I'm not sure we can do this. We'll have to try that again. This is maybe one of those ones where we just have to get caught. Yeah, we seem... This... this. Yeah, we'll, we'll try one more time. I mean, there's no way we should be getting caught every time when we try these. Yeah. I, I think some of these some of these are just programmed. Some of these are just programmed that way. You just have to get caught. We don't have enough time. Don't have enough time. Oh, come on, man. Shush. What the hell? Shush. Thank you. Come on, man. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really like this idea. Um, I don't really like this idea that, uh, there seems to be, there seems to be some things we, we, it's not, it's not completely chance based like it says it is. It says we have a 30% chance, yet, you know, we're getting caught like 50% of the time. Doesn't seem... Doesn't seem legit. This is security rating 5. Come on, I doubt we're getting through this one. Probably getting caught on that 4, even though it's 45%. Yep. Trace program initiated. Okay, can we still do this? Yes, we can. Uh, better just go. I don't. I don't think we'll get. Now we didn't get the data store, but that's fine. Okay, what do we have here? Open. Ooh, fifty-two, seventy-seven, ninety-six, hundred and thirty-six. Eh, not too bad. Can we climb up? Yes. 
Yes, we can. Hey, where does this go? Okay. So we're above his coffee shop. By the look of things. What is this? Got a little Versa Life lab set up here. World Police. Um, the next three decades. We foresee a time when the world's authorities have a more internationally enabled approach to fighting organised crime and terrorism. Already the ever increasing influence of the United Nations, especially in these times of trouble and confusion and increasing terrorism, has led to the formation of a special task force under the nominal command of Interpol and currently based in Lyon. Task Force 29 was formed in 2028 and named for the 29 founding member nations. Due to the sensitive and highly confidential nature of TF-29's affairs, the organisation is not advertised to the public and operates under a strict code of professional secrecy such as any similar agency would. Where might this lead in the future? It is likely that a unified force outside the, the jurisdiction of any political powers on the horizon, ratified by the UN, this force would circumvent international red tape and would be able to respond to global threats without interference from local authorities. Yes. This is the sort of setting up Yanako, isn't it? I believe. Nice, nice little bit of flavour text. We might have read that one before actually, it kind of sounded familiar. Nothing, nothing good. Nothing good so far. Eugene Wise. So this is from Kleina? Kleina? Eugene, stop your work, mate. I can only hope this catches you in time. I tried calling you, but you're not answering. And the person I spoke to at the university said you're not at the university for the foreseeable future. The sample I sent you is live and should not be used. Do not expose yourself to it. The risk of mortality through respiratory failure within 36 hours is extremely high. I can only say how sorry I am and hope you're checking your emails. I can't believe this has happened, but after I sent you something you could use for your cross test as we discussed, I took a closer look at the overshipment paperwork and realised it wasn't what I thought it was. That is to say, the batch I borrowed from was supposed to be inert, but for some reason it was a live strain. The problem was, and I don't know why we're even handling this, the material appears to be part of an order we're handling for our parent labs in Hong Kong. I'm just shocked that something like this is quietly sat in short term storage. BSL2 is supposed to be used for part synthetic biomaterials used in emulation tests. If I'd have known, I would have. If I'd have known, I would have. I don't know, but this is awful. Please get back to me at least as soon as you read this and put my mind at rest. Thank God it's just a micro sample at least. You should be able to dispose of it fairly easily if you have protection. Arnold Klein by Jaren Labs. So this is some sort of uh Is this is this an, is this a little reference to the uh the Grey Death? From Kurka. Uh case subjects, final decision Ari J Shivatal and G Appel. Profess Professor Wise. Yeah, Eugene Wise. Professor Wise, I reviewed the case of your two students, Jessica Schwatel and Gustav Appel, very carefully when first suspended, and I've been no less diligent during this follow-up in trying to determine their future here at the university. We are not a court of law, where specific transgressions receive specific punishments. Our situation is much more nuanced. Yeah, if only if only other universities worked in that way that they are not a court of law 
This is a place of study and learning and we have a duty to ensure that the majority of students have every opportunity to apply themselves. With more concern, the presence on campus of augmented students researching nanoviruses, a chilling weapon in the potential future arsenal of terrorism, can create anxiety on campus and within, within the public perception surrounding our establishment. Regardless, the intentions of the students the board of directors have left me little choice in applying the strict stance we have in supporting the authorities regarding terrorism. So, it is with regret that I inform you that the, re the relationship between our university and these two students is to be upheld. As I said, this was not my decision alone. We have the interest of various parties to consider, but I do stand fully behind it. Continue to understand your concern in this matter, but implore you to allow the process to play out as it should. As mentioned earlier, we have arranged for you to take some involuntary leave gather yourself and return refreshed and focused before the next summer Dr. Alan Kirka yes voluntary involuntary leave that's not even calling it voluntary yeah so obviously uh, Eugene has been up to things with Jessica and Gustav uh, researching nanoviruses that's why he's got this little set up here okay yeah very interesting Okay. Great. Right, try not to die, please, Jensen. Good lad. Okay, I think we're done here. We've robbed this coffee shop owner blind. <laughs> You are still deciding. Come back later. That's okay. I've already stolen everything. Don't worry about it. Right. Promiň, neposlouchala jsem. Co povídáš? Yes, co povídáš to you too. Another damn flank. Right, the limb clinic. What's the story here? This place is in great repair, isn't it? I should say in, in great disrepair. I don't think we'll be able to hack this. But some coppers going about. Ah, uh, this is not going to be a great idea hacking that. Yeah, it's too many, too many, too many coppers around. That's it. Get out. Uh, maybe there's a way we can break in. Yeah, there's a vent there, isn't there? Uh, so how could we get up on that arch? That's way too high to climb, isn't it? No! Oh, we found our way in. Nice! Very nice. Praxis kit, great. Aha. Come on, man. Oh. Right, uh, from Elizabeth Malone to Dr. Linda Fletwick. Final notice, shut down. Dr. Fletwick, this is your final notice. Operations have been suspended at the Prague branch. And you and your team must vacate the premises within the next 24 hours. We will send a team to close up the shop and remove any remaining medical supplies. Thank you, Elizabeth Malone, Senior Vice President Operations, Lim International. So obviously Lim have, um, obviously Lim have gone down. Uh, Lim are not in good relations with the public either after the uh, the AUG incident. Th that, that's nice. This is a great, great little bit of um, great little bit of storytelling there. Because they could have had someone in the game just tell us, "Oh, Lim, Lim has shut down," but instead they've given us this little opportunity to go and uh, explore and all oh, Johnny. 
Oh, Johnny, you have been... You have been hard at work here. I salute you, Johnny. I salute you. Right, is there anything good here? Ho ho ho! Alright, well, let's go downstairs. Anything good? Right, right. This is going to need an explanation, right? Because that's today's Tilly. Why is today's Tilly sitting in this abandoned... Abandoned limb clinic? Someone must have been reading this today in here. Um, do you know what? Maybe there's another explanation. Maybe these are like, maybe this is like a tablet. I guess so. Look, it's got Wi-Fi connection. It's got a battery. Maybe this is just a tablet and the, the Tully just gets updated. You just buy one tablet and you buy like a subscription and it gets updated every day. That would make sense. That would make sense. Come on, it didn't want to jump. Nothing in here? Check out that ebook. Uh, Modern Business Review Editorial Corporatocracy is not a dirty word. Anti-capitalist radicals will cite the passing of the Corporate so Sovereignty Act in the United States, the establishment of a pro-corporate institution such as Palisade Property Bank, and the policy change that allows large corporations to sit on the UN Security Council as sure signs that the world is no longer run by sovereign governments but by multinational conglomerates. Yeah, it does look that way. Yeah, large should large corporations be sitting in? on the UN Security Council? What is wrong with that? Corporate power should be thought of as a mode of political power because ultimately corporations are the people and represent the people's interest in their best interests. Every corporation's mandate includes economic growth, expansion and development all desirable and necessary goals for the well-being of human society and arguably history has shown that they have been much more successful at this than most governments. Whew, um, well that's, that's certainly, um, they certainly put a, a good argument together there. Uh, I mean pretty much, pretty much every, uh, every country that's, um, that's implemented capitalism, it's, those countries have prospered and to the point where um, you can have sort of uh, countries with very little, very little resources um, becoming economic powerhouses um, based on capitalism without without actually having to trade their own goods. Um, very interesting. Very interesting. Oh look, we can just scroll down. That's actually cool. We can just scroll these. That's nice. Does scroll have to be in the right place for it? No, it seems seems okay. All right. Yeah, that's very interesting. Yeah, it's it's an interesting argument. You know, the government government doesn't cr 
create jobs. You know, the, the government can uh, create incentives for um, new businesses to open, but it's the actual um, businesses themselves that that create the jobs. Hmm, yeah, that, that's interesting. I've never really thought about it that way before. I'll have to ponder on that. Now, what is this here? Why is this? Maybe I should take a here comes another one. Just looking at the little green magnifying glass on the map. Hey, does anyone hear a clanking sound? <laughs> oh god, man. Does anyone hear a clanking sound? This is ridiculous. Oh, man. Oh, let's go beat this guy up. Oh, you just... You're speaking to the wrong person, mate. Come with me. Come with me. Come this way. make me proud. I'm trying to get a hold of her too. Yeah, great conversation. I hope you drop dead. If that's somehow wrong, I don't want to be. <laughs> this guy's great. I love this guy. <laughs> Ah, uh, we'll still kill him, though. No way! Come on, knock this guy out. Oh, damn. Right, you're lucky day, mister. You're lucky day. You're lucky day. You did see something, right? Ah, the workshop, mate. Okay, what is this place? Is it is is this his bike or is he nicking this? It's got a screwdriver on it. More guys on the job. I'll never know. What job? What the fuck? Get the hell away from here. Yeah, he's nicking it. He's nicking the bike. Are you sure? Yeah, I do not think that well, sounds right. There's the problem. I think he is. Why is he making a repair to his bike out in the street and not in his house? It doesn't make sense. I feel so awful for you people. Imagine licenses, like you were dogs or something. Damn, I'll never get this done. You people. More overtime. Nothing suspicious here. What is this? Reminds me of a movie I once saw. What is this? Like a puppet shop. Jensen can hear the ticking clock. He's absolutely jizzing in his pants right now. Ooh, there it is. Ooh. Ooh, look at the levers on that baby. Ho ho ho. You can grind my gears anytime. Right. A five. No way. No way. Well, we're definitely getting caught. Anomaly detected. Program initiated. Alright, just grab this, just grab that. We don't have time. Access granted. Whoa! No way. What is this? Two-seater. I don't know what kind of plane that is. I haven't seen one like this before. Looks like something came out of the 80s, something like that. I don't know what that is. This place is behind a five. Behind a five um, thingy. Behind a five hack. So we're probably not meant to be here yet. Look, there's downstairs and everything. Legend of the Skis! These are the greatest concerns of the digital age. And we at Palisade Property Bank have made addressing those concerns priority one. 
information archived with vintage the aircraft is beyond the legal jurisdiction of any government a short okay very cool whoa we could get all the way back here what the fuck So this is probably going to be where we'll be transported to the next city, I guess. To where our veto is going to land. Um, who'll be our pilot? Is it that Alex girl who was in the explosion with us? I don't know about you, but I'd rather have Malik back. Okay, there's quite a lot to see here. Whoops. And we have a vent. Okay. Okay, that was strange. It doesn't do anything for us. Okay. Right, any goodies? A few, but not much. Yeah, it's probably hackable from the outside. Yeah, that's fine. That's the vent there, isn't it? Yeah. I can't imagine nailing cardboard over a door really helps keep it that secure. <laughs> okay, so we've got an apartment to check out and we've also got um, there's another part in the workshop to check out too. Yoink. Right, how did we get up there again? I think it was this way. Whoops. There we are. Right, who would live in a shithole like this? That it? Crafting parts. Turned over washing machine. Crusty sock. You can't have barrels like this inside. This place would be really smoky. Surely not. Surely not. Oh ho ho! Looky here. A three. Right, we want to get that. Why don't we just go this way? Grab these two here. And we're done. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiate access granted. Got credits, nice. Okay, open the safe. 
Shotgun, armor piercing ammo. Nice. Gas mine. Eh. Don't close it. Give me the... 125 credits. Not bad. Uh, do we want the gas mine? Ugh. I don't think so. Didn't think so, Ken. Nah. Yeah, I can't be bothered. There might be something behind it, though. Ah, I just can't be bothered. There might be something behind it. It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Right. Jetson. Thank you. Right. What's through this door? This is going to take us downstairs. Where are we? Any data stores? No, there is not. So, we have to go through a five to get this. No way. No way. Guess we could take a transfer. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. That's minus two. That's good. Come on, man. That's an eight. Fuck. Fuck. No way we'll get that. No way we'll get that. It's only rating two. The transfer added to that and took away from that, or did this thing make it go off? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Right, what do we do? Let's take the four. There we go, that's better. That's better. The five will take a while, but we'll be safe. There we are. Access granted. Nine credits. Nine credits. So this is just a workshop. Looks pretty legit. Someone lives down here. Likes his aircraft. Oh, picture frame open. Look at that. Weapons briefcase, that makes sense. This guy's probably ex-military. Yeah, looks like it. Looks like it. Anything good in here? Yeah, a few goodies. That just closes the door, okay. Right. Oh, what flag is that? Is that... Oh, probably going to offend someone here. Um, is that South Africa? Is it Zimbabwe? Ah, oh, I'm sorry guys, I don't know that one. Elias Chicane, Chicane. Data store there and there. Why don't we just go for the... Why don't we just go for that? What's the quickest way through the... Can we take this? No. Right, we'll go this way. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, not accepting that. There we are. Initiate access granted. 210 credits. Well, not bad. Right, this is from Delara Ozen. Meeting. Director Miller has told me you don't come into the office very often, but I was hoping we could find time for you to talk to me. Standard procedure. New Shrink has to poke her fingers in everyone's pie. Oh. Wait, where I come from? Poking pies is 
not someone, not something you do to one of your colleagues, you know. Uh, you were in the SAAF, right? South African Air Force, I guess. I think we might have some friends in common. Regards, Delera. Though I guess, I guess Elias is our new pilot. This is all part of um, Task Force 29, right? Because they're Director Miller. Disappearing trick from T-Bird Air. What the hell happened to you last night, man? You got some kind of 9-11 or something. Oh, 911. Look around at midnight and you were gone. Nobody saw you take off either. Of course, we were all a bit wasted by then. Should have seen the size of the bill. Yeah, that's what we'd call the Irish goodbye in my country. That's known as an Irish goodbye. Uh, in, in, in Ireland, um, Ireland is... Um, it's sort of known as a culture of big drinkers and generally the, the Irish goodbye is you just get so drunk you get up and leave, you don't say bye to anyone. Speaking of which, you know Kruger's retiring right? Well next time you're at the airfield be prepared to ante up. We're passing a hat hoping to raise enough to buy me a real parting gift and I don't want to hear you complaining that you only buy gifts for people you like. Because everybody loves Jerry, Jerry Kruger. Seriously, you can't afford to dish out 20 credits? Payment received. Mr. Chicane, a payment has been processed on your account, however, the bill is still two months in arrears. As this is the third time this has occurred, the bill is not paid in its entirety by the end of the month. We'll have no choice but to have you f your foster brother transferred to a public facility. Letta Bernard, head of billing department, Johannesburg, yeah, that's South Africa, or uh, Joburg. Alright, so this guy, this guy's in serious debt then, isn't he? Okay, looking after his brother in Joburg. Right, anything else over here? Uh, nothing much. Look, this guy's in serious debt and we're stealing all his credit chips. Ah, oh, I'm a kind-hearted soul, I'm a nice guy, honest. Oh, Liza Kazan, shut up. Right. Very interesting. Very interesting. We got some dirt on our work colleagues. Always good. Always good to be in a position of power over your work colleagues. Always good to have some leverage over those bastards. Yes, indeed. You know all the dirt on them. <laughs> right. Yeah, good luck. The tourism industry is really going to take a hit if this keeps up. Looks fine to me. I can't believe it has come to this. I'm catching nothing here. Where is this? Known as Northgate leads through the remains of the fortification that surrounded Staremesto, more commonly known as the Old City. The wall itself was brought down in the 13th century, at least where it wasn't incorporated into the surrounding infrastructure. Prague has always taken pride in embracing progress, but also valuing the past. This plaza also offers a view of the river and the opposite bank, as well as the best view of one of the most distinctive buildings in Prague, the Palisades Blade. How is that for merging the old and the new? 
It certainly is an interesting looking building. Personally, I think it is one of the most distinctive buildings in the world. But being a native, I may be slightly biased. It certainly makes Bolzano Plaza a popular spot for visitors and locals. I assume that statue is of the Bolzano? Yes, Bolzano Plaza is named after Bernard Bolzano. More precisely, Bernard Placidos Johann Nepomuk Bolzano. Now that is a mouthful. Bolzano was an early 19th century philosopher and mathematician notable for his works The Theory of Science, The Paradoxes of the Infinite, The Textbook of the Science of Religion, and a number of other treatises I haven't read. And <laughs> don't worry, there will not be a test after the tour. Oh. Okay, have a look around. Oh, what a joke. There are a number of interesting shops in the area. If you have any questions, ask, and don't wander too far. We'll continue the tour when you are all ready. Right, so this dude here with his statue... Do you know what? For all the good that he's done... Do you know what? All the stuff that he's done for the city... Hobos, ogs, prostitutes... Yes, of course. City is falling apart. All the works that he's written and achievements... He's done. It's probably, probably, someone in his past that's connected to slavery, or knew someone who was a slaver. So really, I think we have to tear the statue down because it's pretty offensive having stuff like that and keeping up statues of people who might have known someone who knew someone who was a slaver at one point. Pre Keep it out of my report. Pretty offensive. I think we should tear it down. Tear down all the history.